I love this is my favorite part every because I asked John I was like who is filming her and he's like it's usually me yeah it's, it's always it's awesome if you're I, making fun of him and I know filming. I know people always think we have a third party filming us for these things I'm like no we just live together and he films me I force him to do it um <laughs> but honestly that I, he all my awards are so silly usually and this baby to baby one meant the world to me so it was uh it was fun to move around his awards for. he had enough up there he has enough yes like I get I have like a Victoria's Secret best hair hottest chip award and best First mac of all, and cheese I would love your awards <laughs> <laughs> those awards like what? I got like 64 on like or some kind of late like way back in the hundred like on like for like maximum when I was like 24 and I was like yes you know, like, my and first it was, like, dream legit, like 80 it was like 80 out of 100 you know how many times number. I submitted myself to be a maxim hometown hottie like I that love one, it. it was like, please pick me, please pick me, and then yeah, I didn't get you it. You have the greatest personality <laughs> of you. anyone. But is that you. why you think people are just so fascinated with you online? I don't know. I following? think they're fascinated by the fact that John and I are two incredibly different people, and his tweet will be like so serious and so, whether it's devastating or impactful, mine will always be so stupid. So, <laughs> I love it. It's a, it's a nice <laughs> juxtaposition. <laughs> I think people love your honesty, though. Have you ever hesitated? Because I've done this, where I write something and then I'm like, mm, oh no, god, all the delete. time. Yeah. Well, now, I mean, I, I I used to be insane on Twitter, but but now I definitely think about it and I think about the way it would be presented. And I ask John, like, do you think this is a good idea? And sometimes he'll say, if you believe it, then it's fine. But if it's gonna, you know, really affect you after, then maybe try to hold back. But with celebrities, like, it's good to just apologize for being a <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> But like, I think, <laughs> I think like, I think it's very possible to do a very human like apology and say like, wow, I'm so sorry that I was this dumb in this moment. I didn't think about this person, that person, this person. My mistake. I'm gonna learn from this and we're gonna move on. I think more people need to do that. And it's yeah. instead of like, I'm sorry I hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> People do like to talk about the harm of social media a lot, um, but scrolling through your posts, I just see all the good that it can do. Um, for example, it can show people how to be patient parents. Look at this video of Chrissy negotiating oh. with Luna, which I think all of us moms and dads can relate. I now call to order the meeting of the candy. First off, Luna, I would like you to speak. Tell me about why you deserve the candy. I wasn't candy because I won it. What are you going to do if I give you the candy? Uh, eat it. No, I mean, are you going to be good? Yeah. How about, let's go into negotiations now. How about... How many pieces of candy? How many pieces of candy? I say one. What do you say? I say, like, this. Three. That's a good negotiation. Okay. All right, what about... One. No, I want three. <laughs> she knew what she wanted. No. She knew I just love John egging her on. John's like, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. <laughs> Uh, but Whatever. the sexiest man alive isn't above, this is one of my favorite things. He's not above performing while drunk either. And I love that you videoed this. This is my favorite thing you've ever done. This happened just last month. Like, I saw Oz <laughs> was having a sale on onesies, so I was like, let's, they're $7, let's get onesies. And so we got the onesies, then we decided to go to Universal. And then I said, let's go incognito and wear these onesies and no one will know who we are. And John picked the one with his face on it. <laughs> First of all, I love that he found a onesie with his face on it. That's amazing. Yeah, it, it literally says, I love John Legend in his face. <laughs> and then he's And we were like, no one will know who we are. <laughs> He's completely MC hammered. But the, the initial hug. thought behind this was that the stage was empty. So I thought it'd be funny if John got on stage and I filmed him performing to nobody. And then a second he hit a note, everyone flooded over. So uh. it was not meant to be a nice thing. OK. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so 
some of you have been around since my very first tiny, tiny website. It was like a WordPress blog. I updated it from my phone. I've been wanting to do a real website where it was a true community of people that love cravings, love the cookbooks, love the cookware. Just a place where you could see everything that is our family. We wanted to share everything in one little spot for you guys. Bye, Luna. Bye. Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Welcome back. If you've been craving more Chrissy Teigen in your life, you are in luck because she just launched her new website and the fan collection for her cravings line, which I love. I actually thank you so much. I sent you a target. basket. No, so you sent me a like, basket. But I was I like, already don't feel stuff. any pressure to post anything because I just wanted people to have it. And sometimes I'm like, oh my god, they think I want them to post it, and I'm so mortified. No, but. I didn't get your basket till late in the game because we had been in Tennessee. So I. I'd already bought stuff Thank from, you. from at Target. Like Thank I you. filled up my whole buggy because I, as so I do much. at Target. <laughs> <laughs> but here's a photo of you right after you you launched your website. So what's what's happening here? Oh yeah, this what's... is me working the controls just casually. <laughs> no, we crashed, which is an, which is amazing because um, I posted it on Twitter and Instagram at the same time because I'm stupid. No, no, and... no, 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 no. Many people post on Twitter and Instagram at the same time. But I was like, everybody flood my website, and then they did, and it's, it's honestly, it was incredible. It was awesome because it's such a, a true labor of love. Like we were so happy to do it for everybody, and I've never had a website except for like a, a tiny little blog in the very, very beginning of John and I's dating life. And, and, and then this has just transformed into a team, but also very personal to me, so. I love it, it's very yeah. inclusive. So why yeah. did you want to create a website since you're already on social media a lot? Well, because Twitter is one thing, Instagram's one th another thing, and then having a community where there's people that have enjoy the same things as you is mm -hmm. very different. So there's Twitter where you are basically attacked a lot. Yeah. And I don't know uh, what you mean. <laughs> you, you never get attacked. It's no. so crazy. People just love everything. No, I they do. love it. Yeah, I have a heavy filters on. Yeah. Trust me. You should did see you my... not hear that John and I ran Christmas recently? Oh, yeah, you did <laughs> ruin Christmas. You... I was like, how did I mess that up? You guys are such. Oh, I, I, know, like, I know. I know. I know. Sharon Osbourne, man. She hates you guys. And I was like, <laughs> what? And I, she was just on my show. And I was like, wait, what? I was like, People got so mad because we changed. He had this idea because of the Me Too movement. They pulled Baby It's Cold Outside from any radio, like a lot of radio stations at Christmas. Well, I love that song. Well, yeah, but then Sharon assumed that you guys burned them all in the backyard or something. Yes. They can never listen to the original ever I know, again. And, and both John and I have actually cut Baby It's Cold Outside the original, and we like the original, but we noticed that a lot of people didn't. And so we were like, oh, let's just give them another option or whatever. And apparently, we killed. Christmas. You guys killed oh Christmas. God. I mean, I literally woke up the next day and I was like, If I what? can't have my creepy song, yeah. it's not Christmas. I want the date rape drink. I want <laughs> date rapey songs. I was like, and honestly, the original doesn't even offend me. I just was like, cool, we'll do another version. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm not offendable. Like, I hear it all. It's I... hard to offend me. I wasn't mad about the song. I don't care what you guys do. I, they're but to be like, can... oh, I hate this now. Oh my like, God, get over yeah, it. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah. Go off, yes, Sharon. Go off. <laughs> I love Sharon. No, but here's the thing. She actually said, and she means it. Like, she loves y'all. That's why I thought it was so weird. Like, she took it so personal. Like, I just thought it was weird. Like, but, but here's the thing. I actually love her. I do. I, she came on here, and I was like, I love her. I think she's so funny. But then I was like, we didn't kill Christmas. Santa's You're nicer still alive. than me, man. <laughs> well, because I'm trying to understand it, because I'm like, there are so many issues in the world right now. I mean, no! I know, like a joke. I want like, my creepy Chris song. <laughs> it's like, it's so weird. Anyway, um, you posted a pic <laughs> of your holiday table, though, and I really want to know this. Did you make all that? Oh, you know what? Okay, so this I posted. So that's every lot. single dish on this table I've actually made for Thanksgiving many, many wow. times. I've never made this many at once. I wanted to show people everything so that they could be able to piece together their menu and The picture's and gorgeous. Add. Yes, yes. And it was important to me that it wasn't like all edited together. I wanted to shoot them all together, and then we yeah. ate this all at the end of the night. So I and had that, three things. The burlap, it's so nice. Yeah. I like it. I'm very proud of it. All right, so what's new? Point. Because I already have uh, most of your cravings oh, collection at Target. So what's new in your you. fall collection? So I have this Dutch oven, which is to me is like super, super easy. I do a lot of soups and stews. This tagine is my prized possession because this cool is inspired by many trips to Morocco. I love this Morocco. shape here mm -hmm. ensures that moisture like distributes evenly within the pot. 
and you can transfer it from oven to stovetop or stovetop to oven. Okay. And everything's super, super tender after. I want you to teach me how to cook. Oh, I would love to. I don't cook. Can we well. just wear robes at my house? Yes. And I will do it. I only hang out with people that don't want to get dressed up. Amazing. <laughs> Town. I'm like, oh, that was You know 22. what's funny is I don't think I've ever seen photos of you out. I don't. Go I out. love that. No, I'm literally <laughs> you. Like, I'm, well, a little different. We but never leave. I'm, like, our personalities no. are very similar. We are so similar, which yes. is why I'm Team Kelly. On okay, the thank you. Um, <laughs> so, what is that the walk? And then this, um, and this stainless steel walk is my, pro honestly, to me, this is so, such a beautiful gift, which yeah. is why I thought it'd be the perfect audience member gift, so which is why we are giving it to everybody here. Yeah. 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 All right. Does that include me? Yes. Okay. I think so. Okay. I want one. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.